load it start from zero to generally generally load start from start from start from zero to p zero to p so which is which is fully loaded which is fully loaded body fully loaded body okay within the elastic limit okay so when we apply force on the body so it should be deformed first when it when it is deformed so within the elastic limit so this deformation it is only within the elastic limit okay then we apply force on the body it it is firstly deformed then it will be pale okay so before when we remove this force it comes it is in original position okay when you apply force it should be start the deformation means it is storing the energy then when we remove this force it will become it is in original position that's we call it is strain energy stored in the body okay so just here load versus the right body this one load versus deformation okay so this one it is load load and this one it is deformation this one it is deformation okay so it start from actually it is zero start from zero zero to maximum load it is p up to it is within the elastic limit this part it is within the elastic limit okay it is not permanent deformation okay so just draw the dotted line this one just draw the dotted line this one so this one it is dotted line and this one it is deformation that is we call it is delta l delta l okay and this one it is p load means it is p okay so work done work done due to external load work done work done due to external load due to external load to the external load that is p into distance means force into distance force into distance force into distance okay force into distance so force it is area of this work done it is area of this triangular shape that is 1/2 half, 1/2 half, 1/2 half. so base it is one up base it to height one up base it is delta l base it is delta l into p delta l into p okay. delta l into p so this is work done due to external load that is force into distance this force it is average load it will be take p by 2 it is also and delta l okay so now so we know that strain energy strain energy same energy same energy that is is equal to capital mu is equal to sigma square v divided by 2e so now that it is sigma square v sigma square v divided by 2e divided by 2e divided by 2 into e okay 2 into e So here, strain energy is equal to strain strain energy is equate strain energy to we can say to equate strain energy strain energy to work done due to external load to so work done. 
work done due to external load due to due to external load okay due to external load work done due to external load okay so strain energy you can write down strain energy it is sigma square v sigma square v sigma square v divided by 2e divided by 2e divided by 2 into e is equal to so due to external load one half one half p into delta one half one half one half p into well that first p then delta l okay p into delta l delta l. delta l. so you can write down delta l is equal to we know that we'll write down here So delta L is equal to we know that it is P L divided by E. So this one it is P L divided by E. Delta L is equal to it is P L divided by E. E. So P by E it is sigma. P by E it is sigma. So we can write down this one it is sigma L by E. Sigma L by E. Delta L is equal to it is sigma L by E. Okay. So just simplify this equation. Sigma square. Sigma square, sigma square, v, sigma square v divided by two e divided by two e is equal to is equal to one half, one half, one half, one half p into one half p into And delta L it is sigma L by e. sigma sigma L sigma L divided by e. 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 So this sigma and this sigma it will be get cancelled. Okay. So now you can write V it is volume it is A into L. You can write down now. Sigma into V it is A into L. V it is A into L divided by two E. So this E and this E it will be get cancelled. This one as well. So divided by two divided by two is equal to is equal to. Is equal to one by two. Equal to one by two. One by two. One by two. So is equal to is equal to p into l. P into l. Okay. So this l it will be get cancelled. This l it will be get cancelled. This two it will be get get cancelled. This two it will be get cancelled. So you can write down directly. Sigma is equal to. Sigma is equal to p by a. Sigma is equal to p by a. Sigma is equal to p by a. Then we apply load gradually. So this stress equation it is applicable. So p by a. So stress equation. This equation is applicable. Is applicable. Applicable when gradually, gradually, gradually applied load. Gradually applied load. When we apply gradually load, so sigma is equal to T by A. Okay. So this one is the derivation of stress due to. Gradually applied load. Okay. 